to Ann Arbor and the Big House, home to one of the most storied programs in college football and the first one to win a thousand games, the Michigan Wolverines. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Wolverines will kick it away to start us off. Here he comes from inside his own five. And stampeding through the defense. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Buffaloes' offense takes the field. This has an old-school feel to it as this running back makes his way onto the field, and all eyes are fixed. They are glued on him. Yeah, the old school, because nowadays it's usually quarterbacks and the other guys that get all the attention. But this guy's so good, he is the focal point. He's the guy everybody's looking to. He's the tone setter. He's the physical bell cow for this team. He will get the rock early and off. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, he couldn't find any running room at all, and he'll end up taking a loss on the play. Yeah, great discipline on defense, too, because if you're going to stop the option, you have to play assignment football. Everybody doing their job. There was just nowhere to go there for the QB. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. You just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you can regroup, because this environment is hostile. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. The Wolverines offense has its first opportunity of the day. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. That last completion sets him up on second down. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Still on his feet at the 45. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. Inside the big house, they have those big condominiums down there on the field, paving the way for the running backs. Big, huge condominiums, and, and every year it's a little bit different of, of how they wear their uniforms and how they fit their uniforms. But the style, always the same. Line up, hit you right in the mouth. That's who Michigan is. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. The play-action fake. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man! And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And how about this tight end finding that soft spot after the play-action froze him? It's tough to do sometimes for these tight ends to kind of find zone defense and find the areas they need to work and make sure that they've got that communication with the QB. But these two right now are on the same page. Looking for a crease, it's Edwards. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines! Follow 
the block. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time this it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slip it through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. On to attempt to try. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. The Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. Pulls and fires complete. On the move is at 30. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wide out. Off the deflection. Missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. You know, it's so important for corners to be able to transition, right? you got to have real loose hips. you got to be able to change direction on a dime. And in zone coverage, when you see the ball thrown, you can break on it and force incompletions like that. After the misfire, now on second down. Dropping back, it's Sanders. He's got it down the middle. Well, the short passing game is a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later on. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. I'll tell you, this guy can just take games over. He can just make things happen when it doesn't look like anything's there. That time they go RPO. They're expecting to throw the football and have to make a play, but nobody's open. This is like Sandlot football. He just tucks the ball himself, and he goes and gets it. He knows where he is on the field. He knows where he needs to get to get that first down. He's just playing above the X's and O's right now. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. And the offense clearly saying, we want to take those deep shots. We want to be aggressive. And I, and I think that's a good strategy because it makes the defense really honor what you're going to do. And just missed a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if this offense finds a way to come back to some of their deep runs. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Colorado! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense.
He'll try to tack on one more. Splits those uprights right in half. So a drive there of 84 yards. And the capper coming on that 48-yard touchdown dart. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Morgan. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last one. So this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. He's got it again. Makes a man miss. At the 45 on his way. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time they attack the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? you got to be expecting that they're going to try and tack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. They just dialed up one big play. Let's see if they've got another one on first and 10 from the 35. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down at the 34, but they're sort of hitting them in the mouth with a six-yard pickup there. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Got it set up on the outside. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Horn. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Looking to go up top on first down. Wide open downfield. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. Off the RPO complete. I love early in the game getting my quarterback in the game. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. 
Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. And the Buffaloes are rolling down the field. Hand off from the gun. Got the first down and more. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense getting set for first down. To the air, it's Sanders. Finds his back in the middle. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out. Fast motion from the offense. Wants to fire on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Hayden. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Here's the handoff. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He's back to throw on second down. Quick strike complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. He's got it. Stop at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. Really nice play call there because the defense might have been thinking on third and short in the red zone, they're probably going to run the football instead. They throw it, catch them off guard, and now they've got first and goal. And the Buffaloes trying to cash it in on first and goal. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Quarterback on the keeper. And he'll finish the run. Zone. Touchdown, Bucks! This is like having an extra running back in your backfield. This quarterback is magic. When he decides to keep the football, he can make people look absolutely silly. He shows you on that play.
Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. An 84-yard drive there and close to deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Morgan. He was bold to bring that thing out of the end zone, but he'll go out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. Nice move to pick up yardage. Find some space, enough to get five to the 22. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying to turn the corner on the left. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. You put on that winged helmet, and the one thing you want to do is establish the running game. Yeah, no matter who the coach is, no matter who the players are, it's a tradition. It's physicality. That's how they built this brand at Michigan. And I think no matter who's there, it's going to be how they continue to build on that tradition. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Wolverines come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Might be looking to run. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall to the ground to try to move the chains? They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner Pollock. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, aw, shucks, or something. Aw, shucks, or something. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They'll leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense did a really good job stringing that one out. You got to see the counter when you start to pull guys understanding. I'm going to spill that ball, make sure it bounces outside, out wide, doesn't come downhill. Great job by the defense understanding that and pursuing to the football. The give to the back. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And the Buffaloes will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. He gets a block. And the returner is stopped. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. 
Going to run it. It's Edwards. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Offense gets set for second down. They'll run play action. Grab near the marker. It's Morgan. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Looking to move it through the air. Got him downfield. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. And a chance to really carry momentum with them into the locker room if they can take the lead here. First and goal. A jet sweep pass. Push down for the tackle. And lost ground on first down. Now second and goal from the five. Back to throw. It's Orgy. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And you just got to wonder if the pass rush affected the QB's accuracy on that throw. He had his guy wide open in the end zone, but he had to throw it a split second faster than he wanted to, and the ball got away from him. Third and goal where you separate the wheat from the chaff. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback on the move. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Michigan. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. He's got his man. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. The offense set for a first down play. To the air, it's Sanders. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And screens are all about timing, right? You want to invite the defensive line to fly up the field, and then you want to throw it right over their head. And you can tell just a little bit off. The defense got it there so quick, got the quarterback hit before he could really get his bearings and throw the screen. And back to the air on second down. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Off the play fake on first down. Got his man downfield. Delivers the contact. Touchdown, Buffaloes! What a grab and go for the score. 
And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish with a big play, a touchdown strike from the 46. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Going up top on first down. Finds his tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. To the air, it's Orgy. Looking left. He's got an open man. All the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Ann Arbor. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas in the booth at Michigan Stadium. The Buffaloes will boot it away to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Bull noses his way through. And the returner goes down. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. Caught behind the line. It's Morris. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Now on first down from the 28. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage. And they're running downhill right at this defense. And they're churning out positive yardage early. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll do it himself. Got the first down and still on his feet. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football, so the quarterback says, you know what, I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Power football with the run. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. 
using his legs at Edwards. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Everybody talks about DBs, and they talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. Offense in a bunch formation. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. Fires to the big fella. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. They get the conversion there. He used his size and nice moves to get past the chain. Man, I like that. Third and short. Find the big fella, the soft hands, make a quick little move, make the completion, get the first down. The Wolverines getting set on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. That's caught. It's Marshall. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. That's a really nice pass. You can see why this guy right here gives the Michigan faithful reason to be optimistic. You know, for years we know Michigan has always been good at running the football, but they've got to be able to throw. They've got to be more consistent making big plays through the air. This guy gives them that chance. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his man. It's Loveland. And he's brought down after a nice game. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And that is a huge play for the defense. Offense has it in your red zone. You're trying to knock them out of field goal range. The only way you do that is by creating negative plays, and they get the sack. This drive facing a little adversity now after that last play. It's second and 20. On the run, it's Edwards. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Ball's at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. He's looking downfield to throw. Touchdown, Wolverine! And that one will put him up here in the second half. A methodical drive, soul-crushing, spirit-breaking, and it ends in a touchdown. And listen, I know everybody wants the big plays, the big, long touchdowns and all that stuff, but putting a drive together like that is very difficult to do time and time again, and it's demoralizing for the defense. Great drive by the offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. RPO complete to open the drive. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. They'll try the run. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Yet. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. On 
on third and short. The power run here. And the Buffaloes will move the sticks with the first down. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Gets it out fast. At the 40, there he goes. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. The Buffaloes are flying down the field. To the air on first down. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Gets it out quickly. Makes a catch and knock down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They want to just keep throwing it. And that pass is intercepted. Got room on the return. Still on his feet. He is finally out of bounds, but he was smelling that end zone on that return. I'll tell you what, defensive players don't always see where the ball is. They see the receiver and they get to chase him, but really good job seeing where the receiver is, going and making an interception, making a big play, getting the ball back to your offense. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. and They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They make the stop, and he got work done on the ground, picking up six to the 23. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Trying play action. Using the quick game. Not down after a short game, but enough to move those chains. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. And the Wolverines will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. They'll put the tight end in motion. Dropping back, it's Orgy. He makes the connection. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. 
I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Here they come facing third and long from the 20. Off play action. Starts to scramble to the left. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? I just don't know how you go wrong with bringing more speed on the field in third down situations. You go dime, you bring six defensive backs on the field. Now, not only do you have better guys to cover, but when that QB goes into scramble mode, I got a bunch of fast little guys that can catch him, get on the ground, set up the fourth down to shoot him. It is true as he puts three on the board. putting three on the board. The kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Colorado has the ball back and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. The give to the back. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Right down the middle. A strike downfield. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Comes out throwing on first down. Got his man. After the first down completion, it's second and short. Grab behind the line. It's Hunter. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Screen pass just not working there. You figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz, but because the defense has the lead, they're just sitting back and playing big zones. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. He'll keep it himself. And the Buffaloes get enough to move the chain. This quarterback does an outstanding job in his preparation, watching film and understanding when he has to pull the ball on these types of run plays. Great job keying on the defender and quickly making the right decision to pull it and then go get north and get the first. The Buffaloes are on the move. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Wants to throw, it's Sanders. It's on target and complete. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. 
This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. And the Buffaloes with the first and 10. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Got it behind the line. It's Horn. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Colorado. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point gives them a one-point lead here in the fourth. They march 79 yards on the drive. And he takes this from inside the five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Takes a handoff. It's Edwards. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Now the play fake. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. Throws to the wideout. Complete in the middle. That's a nice pickup to give them some breathing room, and they've got it out to the 27. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Trying to find his man on first down. Extending the play, and the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. So let's see if they can make up for that loss on second down from the 18. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Loveland. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Here's a throw downfield late. And it's now or never. It's do or die for this offense. Fourth down, late in the game, trailing. They absolutely have to connect and move the chains right here. This thing's over. 
Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He wants a big play here late. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The lone back's got it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here, just don't take a negative play. Looking to pass, at Sanders. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Buffs! That is the ultimate grab-and-go for the score. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. Now for the extra point try late in the game. And he splits the uprights and pushes the lead to eight here in the fourth. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. That fourth down gamble didn't pay off on the last drive, and it led to giving up. And he's running in the open. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, that is a Herculean effort. He caught the ball in the middle of the field and somehow was able to use his speed and his vision and awareness and still get out of bounds to stop the clock. They used a chunk plate across midfield, and they've got it first and 10 just outside the 40. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Moore. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. You've got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. He's going to pass. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Good little pickup there as he saw some daylight and got what he could. I think he did a really good job, first of all, keeping his eyes down. You can see he wanted to throw the football. But when it's not there, don't force it. Tuck it down. Get some positive yards. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He spikes it. Clock stops as they try to rally late. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? To the air. It's Orgy. Unleashes one. And that one is picked up in the end zone. When you're down late in the game and you got to make plays, it's really tough not to force the football. You could tell quarterback forces the football. Defense comes up with a huge interception. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. 
And the quarterback takes a knee. 